Hey, good morning to you, Ron and Christine. Yeah, you know, the interesting part, just the last half hour, we found out and uh, talked with a number of high school students from Kalani High School. But it's not just here on Oahu. I want to welcome in Chipper Wickman. Uh, he is the uh, president, I want to make sure I get this right, of the National Tropical Botanical Garden. It's based on Kauai. Chipper, first off, we talk so much about this World Conservation Congress. We obviously live on an island and we're surrounded by ocean. But we're also talking about our environment and we're also talking about on land. Tell me a little bit about the National Tropical Botanical Garden. Great. The National Tropical Botanical Garden is the only nonprofit organization chartered by the United States Congress in 1964. And one of the really important parts of our mission is to prevent the extinction of plant biodiversity in the world, in the tropical world. And we work primarily in the Pacific. If you look at this map here behind me, mm -hmm. you can see this giant Pacific region, which, which is just huge, bigger than Africa. And these stars show the parts of the, of the Oceania that we've had extensive field work and surveys collecting plants, like this tree right here behind us, the breadfruit, which we have the world's largest collection, over 130 different kinds of breadfruit collected from from throughout Oceania. And Chipper, let me ask you this. Why breadfruit is so important and why it's so critical when you talk about Oceania, especially when you talk about some of these atolls? They're right. very remote and very d um, difficult sort of living conditions, if you will. That's right. Uh, that's correct. Atolls are essentially desert islands, you know, very little rainfall, high saline conditions, um, very, very little um, fresh water. And so breadfruit, uh, certain varieties of breadfruit have been adapted to live on oceanic islands like, like atolls. That means in our collection, we have breadfruit that can grow in very dry areas like arid Africa. Mm -hmm. And in fact, we're using breadfruit in 30 countries around the world right now to provide food security. And this is a big piece of Hawaii's future. The breadfruit revolution is here. <laughs> hey, folks, besides breadfruit, tell me also about what's happening tomorrow. Because we talked earlier with some Kalani High School students who get a chance to meet some of these world experts when it comes to conservation. You guys are sort of bringing it to the students of Kauai. Absolutely, absolutely. Education is a key part of our mission. And when we were planning to bring the World Congress here, we felt that the legacy of infusing our students and planting that seed of conservation in them was critical. So it's so exciting to see that component. But as you said, many of our students are not able to travel to, to Oahu and experience this. So we're bringing it to them. And tomorrow we have a conservation expo at our national headquarters in the Lawaii Valley. We'll have over 400 experts in conservation there and, and nearly 100 students, literally from homeschool, private school, high school, community college. We have nearly 100 students coming. It is really exciting. Uh, you know what? It's bringing it to them. Chipper, thank you very much. And so the World Conservation Congress, it started back on September the 1st, going to be lasting through September the 10th. But as Chipper was saying, the great thing is with tomorrow having the expo on Kauai, it's really a chance for them to bring some of the leading experts in the world to the students of Kauai. So a real win-win situation uh, when it comes to the World Conservation Congress.